Hello everybody, it's Diana again, and today I want to go over what I've gotten from BoxyCharm over the last six months of my uh, prepaid subscription. I did pay for a year in advance. You do get a little break in the price, but normally I believe it's $21 a month. Um, and then, but you can buy it every month, six months, or a year, as the case may be. You always get at least five full-size products and um, sometimes they'll add in a bonus six that may or may not be full-size it kind of just depends so yeah I want to go over with you kind of what I've gotten what I've actually gotten to use yet whether I liked it or not and whether overall I think that BoxyCharm is a really good deal I'd also like to let you guys know that with BoxyCharm there are variants so some things every month everyone will get and some things you'll get a variant whether it's color or brand or whatever so i'm going to go over what i got and show you and then mention the possible variants and what have you so i started in march so in my march box i got the boxy charm pure um, palette collaboration comes with a nice mirror there's a lot of pretty colors I know a lot of people don't really like this palette. I am not a huge um, beauty expert or guru or anything like that, but I think it's nice. It's got a lot of pinks, um, a lot of neutrals, one or two like pops of color. And I thought that this was really nice. I do use it still. I think it's fine. Again, I don't have a high skill level, so what I think is good and what others think is good or how they use their eyeshadow may be different than how I use their, my eyeshadow. So that's the first thing I got. Then I got this Pretty Vulgar Make Them Blush in Hush Blush. I know this was a variant. So mine is a more neutral shade, um, kind of like a light mauve pink. It's really, really pretty. Um, you don't want to go in too heavy handed with this. This and the palette I both used and I've enjoyed. So that's really good. I also got a set of three Vintage Cosmetics brushes. And I use all of them and I love all of them. So that's really awesome. I also got this Butter London Double Decker Mascara. Now I have not used this yet, but I will show you the brush. It's pretty thick and chunky. Um, I'm excited to eventually use this. I'm trying to get through some other ones and I'm trying not to use um I mean I've opened this but I have never actually used it on lashes so I'm trying not to use any of my other stuff until I get through a few other things especially my older ones but it looks nice I think I will like it I will update you as to that and then the only other thing uh, and I don't have this anymore because I used them up were these south main oh god you can kind of see I believe they were under eye eye gel pads so you got three packs um and i think i used each of them twice i think um and i did like those it's something i normally wouldn't buy for myself so i thought that was kind of fun to add that one in um so that was my first month in march i know that the mascara and the blush i think were variants so you could have gotten a different mascara and then there was different colors of blush and some people got like a really hot pink one and were unhappy i'm fine with what they gave me so then in april i got and everyone got these first three i'm going to show you the pores no more vacuum cleaner pore purifying mask by dr brandt it's kind of gross because i do use this um, i'm trying to use this up I have enjoyed it it gets it dries pretty quick on the face I think you're only supposed to leave it on technically 10 minutes I'll take a bath and leave it on longer but when I take it off my face is like red and raw um, so it is pretty strong so if you have really sensitive skin you might not like this or you might want to only leave it on for like five minutes I'm kind of okay with that I feel like it really got the job done then um, everyone also got the brow gal by Tonya Crooks brow gel I'll show you the wand on this little guy. So it's just a little tiny wand. And I haven't used mine yet. I'm going to enjoy trying that one out. I think that'll be the next one I try. I'm still working on my L'Oreal one. And then, um, oh wait. 
Yes, I do think everyone got the TARDIS Pro Glow Liquid Highlighter. Mine is in the shade Expose. And again, I think I've told you guys I don't really use liquid highlights too much, so it's not something I would go out and buy. I have used it a few times. It is really pretty. It's a little golden. Um, so if you're fair-skinned or you don't really want like a really dramatic glow, um, this may not be for you, and it dries pretty quick, so you got to work it in really fast. But I like it. I think it's fine. And then this was a variant. Some people got um, different brands of lipstick, um, but they, everybody got some kind of liquid lipstick, and this is by Adest New York, and I had to write the name on the back go on their website to figure out what it's called. It's in Haute Coco. Um, and I've tried this a few times and I do like the color and I think it wears pretty well. It has a little bit of like a cakey smell. Kind of like a brown. Um, it's really pretty. I don't normally buy browns, but I actually thought it was really nice. And then I believe this was the last thing of the month. Sorry, I'm looking at my phone to make sure I didn't forget is everyone got a variant I think there was five or six different color pop palettes you could get I got the semi precious you do not get a mirror and they are all like glitter foil shades um I've used this on its own I've used it a few times I haven't really used it with any other palette um I thought it was okay it's not my favorite eyeshadows of all time I don't think that they're super strong punches of color um, at least the ones that I've used, just going to swatch like three of them for you. And I haven't used every color in the palette. Um, but like this one and then these two are all there. Um, I think it's fine. I've always wanted to try color pop. So I've tried the liquid lipsticks my friend gave me, um, to try out which I wasn't very impressed with. And they were older, so they might have been expired, which is also I'm decluttering those. Um, but I do think that this was also a nice box on the whole. And then, so that was April, or March and April. And then in May, this was probably my least favorite box, but we got two sets of Aesthetica brushes. So you got like... These three little guys, which I haven't even used yet, and then this big fluffy guy, which I have used, and he came a little warped initially, but since I've kind of let him sit out and I've washed him at least once, I think he's pretty fun. These I just kind of hide away in my drawer. I have used this one, and I like it. Um, So everyone got those, and then everyone got the Cover Effects Blurring Primer. I've only used it once. I thought it was fine. I do have other primers I'm working on so this one I thought was really cool and I've never really tried cover effects so I really like that and then we got another pretty vulgar um an ink gel eyeliner in blacklist so I did like swatch it but I haven't actually tried it and I'm worried that my swatching it might try it out but I don't know we'll see how it goes I don't really use eyeliner especially gel eyeliner, eyeliner that much and then I got, this was also, so everyone got the cover effects. I think everyone got the cover effects, the pretty vulgar and the brushes. And then everyone got some form again of liquid lipstick. This is a natural lip gloss by Han Skincare in Nude Rose. And I actually really like this. I'll give it a swatch for you guys. It's like a, like a deep rose color really pretty again oh what is on my arm what is going on maybe I have bug bites or something what is that oh I cut myself great um I have tried this I've liked it I'll keep using that and then we got um everyone got the pure sculptor palette so this does come with a mirror which is nice and then it's got two highlights and two contours now the highlights are, and mine came broken, this one did, but I repressed it. It doesn't look pretty, but it works. I do think the highlighters are a little bit deep for my skin, but I've still used them and liked them if I want something a little dramatic. Um, the contour shades are definitely too deep for my skin, even with a very light hand. You can see like the contours and the highlights. 
Um, so the highlights are usable. For me, this would, I'll probably just end up using them as eyeshadow. This is definitely for deeper skin tones, which is totally fine because not everyone who's white or light skinned is going to be getting BoxyCharm. So I think it's nice that they mixed it up. And again, I can use them as eyeshadows. I haven't tried that yet. Um, but yeah, this was probably my least favorite one. I think the primer and the lipstick were my favorite in that. So that was my May BoxyCharm box. And then June, I thought, was probably one of the best ones. Um, for me anyways so you got three looksy brushes this one's dirty right now um i have used this one i haven't given this one a try yet i'm kind of saving it so i have really enjoyed these two brushes and i love getting brushes because I hate buying brushes so even though i haven't used some of the aesthetica brushes yet i am happy that i have them so i don't have to buy brushes later um and then everyone got those. I'm pretty sure everyone got the Janta Blue um, eyeliner pencil. I don't know if they all got it in dark brown. Um, so it feels decent. I haven't tried it. Again, I'm not really huge on eyeliners, but that's okay. And then everyone got um, some form of, again, liquid lipstick. I got Ofra's Verona, which again... And it's upside down but that's okay it's like another brown one kind of like the Adesse one they are very similar colors the Adesse one's more pinky this one's more kind of straight brown um and i again i never tried ofra so that's really exciting and i have used that lipstick and enjoyed it then i got these baddington lashes everyone got these lashes i don't know that everyone got them in the same style these are in monroe and they're really pretty. They're really natural looking. Um, I just don't typically use lashes anymore. But I'll try them eventually one day. I'm thinking about doing a lash try on video with you guys. Like just for fun. Um, and then the thing I was most excited in this. And everyone got this this month. In June. Was the Alamar Cosmetics Eyeshadow Palette. In Raina Del Carib Volume 1. So these are like really pretty summery vibrant shades um and again i think this one would look really great on pretty much any skin tone i think it is geared more towards someone with a deeper complexion or people like me that are not afraid to try something a little bit different and a little more bold those are just some of the shades it works beautifully this is probably the favorite palette that I've gotten through BoxyCharm. Um, and it's nice because you get to try brands or styles of things that maybe you normally wouldn't go after. Um, so yes, that's May, June. And then we've got two more months, two more months. Where is my other one? Okay, so June was also kind of a, a miss month for me, if you will. So I think everyone... I don't know if everyone got the same shade, but I'm pretty sure everyone got this Note Blush. Mine's in 05 Desert Rose. I have used it. It looks a lot more pink or like um, salmon-y in real life. It's pretty pigmented though, so you want to use like a really light hand. There was a tiny brush that came underneath. I've just stashed it away with my brushes I'm not currently using. Um, so I have tried that. It's fine. It's not my favorite, but I'll use it up. And then I got this Tarte Ready Scent Radiant Skin Mist. So you could have gotten an eyeshadow palette or you could have gotten the Skin Mist, I think are the two options. Now the eyeshadow palette, look, palette looked fine. It was pretty neutral, again, like reds and browns, which we already got the Pure Palette and I don't need tons of reds and browns. And setting spray is something I don't like spending money on because I think it's way too overly priced for a mist on your face. So I haven't tried this, or maybe I've tried it once. Um, I think I've tried this once, maybe, I think I'm saving it. it, smells good, um, but this is really nice to have, and I do really love Tarte, and then everybody got the Wander Beauty Unleashed Volume Curl Mascara that a lot of people thought was a lipstick at first, just from the packaging, and again, a nice chunky brush, a little bit curved, I'll get to that eventually, you know, and then we got... I think pretty sure everyone got the Needles No More No More Baggage Eye Depuffing Gel by Dr. Brandt. 
I have tried this. It has a color to it. Um, let me try to squeeze a little out. So it's got kind of like a pinky orange color, um, but when you kind of spread it onto yourself, under your eyes, it doesn't really stay that color very much. Um, I've tried it a few times. Normally I've just tried it like before I go to bed. I think it would probably work better actually under like foundation and makeup. It would look nicer. It gets very tight. It really like stretches your under eyes. So there's that. And then finally the Chella Tantalizing Taupe Eyebrow Cream, which I'm really excited to try. But again, I'm trying to work through, get like a little brush on one side. And then the cream itself is like in here. Um, and I think it's a really cool idea. I really like this, like all in one. It's pretty cool. Um, I haven't tried it yet, but I will. So again, this was not one of my favorite boxes, but it, it's okay. It's all right. And at least it's all large boxes. Um, I was going to say in the, in the one with the Alamar, you also get a tiny Sol de Janeiro Boom Boom Cream, which I've actually fully used up. Um, there's kind of the, ooh, can you see it in the picture? Maybe, there we go. Sol de Janeiro Boom Boom Cream. It was just a little mini. Um, I thought it was fine. It was not like my most favorite thing in the whole world. Um, I like the smell of it. I didn't really feel like it did a lot of tightening or anything that like it said it was going to. Um, but it was fine and I used it up, so. Of all my stuff, I've only used up two items so far, just the under eye things and the boom boom cream, but I'm getting really, really close with this mask. Okay, and then, so that's everything through July, and then August was the last month we got, and nobody watched my video yet, but you've probably watched other people's videos. Um, so one variant, everybody got, I think everyone got, everyone got, I think, a Smashbox lipstick of some form. It could have been a liquid one or whatever. Mine is an ombre one, so it's three tones, and this is in berry ombre. And I think that this guy works a lot better, kind of, you just put it on and smoosh your lips together, and you don't notice the ombre, and I think it's fine. I've used it once or twice. Um, then we also got the Bang Beauty um chocolate gel eyeliner so again another gel eyeliner i haven't used at all but it said you could use it also like in your brows and stuff so i might try it that way i think like a black gel eyeliner would probably be too much but a brown one might be just fine and then again we got everybody got house of lashes lashes but some variant in style mine is in temptress and these are like pretty big and bold um Again, I probably won't use them anytime soon. And then everybody got the Laura Lee Party Animal Palette. So it's got a little mirror and a bunch of really fun shades. And I'll just swatch a couple again. I've used this, I think, two or three times now. And I actually really like it. I like the look I came up with it. They are really bold, fun looks. But you could pair it with a neutral palette to get something more neutral. I know there's a big controversy with her right now and a bunch of other YouTubers. Um, whatever. I thought it was nice to get another eyeshadow palette. I've been wanting to try Laura Lee's brand. So I thought that was really cool. And then we got the three Wander Beauty Baggage Claim Good Eye or Gel Eye Gold Gel Eye Masks. So I haven't tried these yet. I've been keeping them in my fridge, so they're kind of cold now. But I will probably end up banging through those pretty easily. And then the one thing that I forgot to bring down was my Adess um, nail cuticle oil, which I think that was also a variant. You could have gotten another brand and you can't even see it, but there it is in the package. Um, so yeah, I thought overall, I thought and still think that this is worth it. I like trying new brands, brands I normally wouldn't go out of my way to get. Um, like Laura Lee or something just because it's really hard to not like you have to purchase a lot of them online um, But I thought it was pretty cool and I mean I've gotten four eyeshadow palettes in six months So I mean that's a fucking win, right? I've gotten two things of eye gel pads 
Got that little tiny lotion. I've gotten tons of brushes. And who wouldn't want a ton of brushes? I'm just recapping, guys. I got a couple skincare by Dr. Brandt. Very high end, very expensive. And they kind of make it, I mean, really, I could do tons of different looks with all this stuff. Like, you, I have a whole face full of stuff. I think the only thing I haven't gotten is a setting powder. But I think I've gotten pretty much anything else I could use to make a whole face look in six months. I've gotten two gel eyeliners in black and brown. I have gotten two blushes, kind of a peachy one and a pinky mauve. I have gotten two sets of lashes, a party lash and a regular everyday lash. I have gotten three different liquid lipsticks in varying browns and pinks. I have gotten two different brow things, a gel and a, I mean, I guess this is technically a gel too like the wand ones, and you could even use the Bang Beauty one that's an eyeliner as an eye gel. So two to three of those. I have gotten two full-size mascaras. I have gotten a primer, a setting spray, and most of this stuff is like really high-end. Liquid illuminator, a brown eyeliner, and finally, a face palette. So overall, I can't complain. I could literally now, after six months, and even really before the six month mark, do an entire face of beauty. So if you started out and you really had a very minimal collection or just really wanted to try new products or whatever, I think this is a great deal. It's only 21 bucks a month. You get full-size products, which is unheard of pretty much in all boxes. And if you do in other boxes, they're more expensive, like FabFitFun. And that one's only quarterly. Um, so, yeah, I think this has been totally worth it. I mean, just looking at all the products in front of me, even though I've used up two of the products, like, this is fantastic. Like, if you really wanted to build a collection and try new things, I think this would be a great way to go, especially because... Yeah, you're going to get some neutral eyeshadow palettes, and then you're going to get, like, some fun eyeshadow palettes so you can see what really works for you. You're going to get, I mean, mostly I've gotten neutral lipsticks. Oh, wait, I've gotten this lipstick, too. I forgot about him. So I've gotten four lipsticks, three of which were liquid. So you're going to try a little face stuff, some eyelashes. Whether or not you're into that, you could try that. Um, illuminators bronzers, you know, all sorts of fun stuff. So I can't be depressed about this. Overall, I've gotten a very good haul of stuff with very minimal items that I might never use or only use like very occasionally. But something like an eyelash is not going to go bad if you don't use it for a year or two or three years. Um, they only start to go bad once you kind of use them and use glue and all that jazz. So and even some of this other stuff like brushes are not going to go bad setting spray any of this stuff if you don't open it and you don't use it it's not going to go bad and some of it will take a very long time to go bad um so yeah i am very happy with this i highly recommend it i know in september they're going to do a luxe box and i know a lot of people are confused about that so in a normal box you get at least five full-size items sometimes they'll throw in a sixth item um that may or may not be a full size, but it's a bonus item, so you can't complain. But that's the normal box. Um, so they're going to start a quarterly box where you're going to get 11 items, all full size, a mix of skincare, makeup, whatever. I think they might be throwing some hair care options in there. And this one, it's like $50 or 50 some dollars. But it's only quarterly so instead not in addition to your little box if you sign up for the big box you'll get three of the items three of your 11 items will be items that will be in that month's box for the regular charmers and then they'll have the luxe box which will have seven additional large items so i'm gonna try it at least once and see how it goes i'm actually really excited 
they do if you follow them on any social media platform they have sneak peeked like four different items in the box so far and all except for one item i'm pretty excited about but the one item it's a uh, sol de janeiro like body glow i don't know rub on oil thing um i probably won't use that much i'll probably have to wait till next summer or something um, cause I don't want to open it and then almost never use it. And I don't really show off my clavicles and shoulders that often. So otherwise you could kind of slather it on and have like a body glow, but it, I know you can use it, like mix it into your foundation or kind of use it basically as like a illuminating primer. So there are other options and I'll give those a whirl for sure. But hopefully I can snag one of those boxes. I'm really hoping so I'll let you know how that goes. I'm pretty excited. I hope you like this video. I really think BoxyCharm of all the subscriptions are worth it. I've considered Ipsy. And I like the idea, again, that you get like five to six items every month. That one's cheaper, but you're also getting little minis. So I think that that one's good, you know, if you don't already have, like if you already have like a really big collection and you just want to, add a few things in to try i think this is probably better either if you're just like a horrible makeup junkie like me but i have a relatively small makeup collection this has helped grow it quite a bit if you want to start growing a collection and just trying things out to see if you'll like them or not i mean a full-size primer and setting spray full-size lipsticks these are all wonderful things and palettes and all that so even if there's something that you don't like um that's in the box you can always give it away share it sell it online i see a lot of people do that so you know there it is i hope you like this video please subscribe comment below i'd like to have a dialogue with you guys and have a good day bye